While Blender's physics capabilities are good, especially with the progress we have seen recently, they still don't match the level of detail and complexity offered by Houdini in terms of procedural animation. Houdini's advanced physical algorithms and solvers, for instance, enable accurate and realistic simulations of rigid body behavior. By offering more options and control in simulation factors like mass, inertia, forces, and collisions to replicate various physical-based phenomena, including car crashes, destruction of facts, and cloth simulation. And if you take an honest look at what it can do, you will be surprised. Houdini also excels in particle simulations by offering a diverse array of particle systems and solvers. These capabilities enables us to create a greater variety of particle behaviors and directions, which can be further transformed into other effects such as smoke or energy. This can be for example seen in the Doctor Strange movies, the iconic portals used by the Sorcerer Supreme to traverse dimensions were all done inside Houdini, and the swirling patterns and dynamic movements were all crafted using Houdini's particle solvers. To explain this further, let's consider the example of wind. In Blender, the control over wind is limited to parameters like power and flow. In contrast, Houdini provides nodes such as the pop wind node, which offers alone more than 10 parameters solely for controlling the wind. This level of control empowers VFX artists to fine-tune the wind's behavior and achieve more precise and better looking visuals, with the ability to influence them however they desire. Now, with the introduction of simulation nodes in Blender, and despite being relatively new, they already offer a solid foundation and a glimpse of what is yet to come. So, the idea behind simulation nodes is to cover the various simulation aspects of Blender, including particles, collisions for objects interacting with each other, in addition to cloth simulation, and so on. Blender simulation nodes offer real-time and interactive capabilities, providing you with a dynamic and responsive workflow. Being physics-based, these nodes allow you to create animations by simply moving objects around, similar to the experience in video games, and without the need for any baking time, which is really important, especially if you are working under a deadline. So, to understand this better, let's look at the particles example when working with Blender particles, which are usually the core of Houdini's animations. One noticeable drawback in Blender is how limited it is to change the particles movements. You can only influence the animations through the side menu and limited force fields like wind, meaning that sometimes they look dull with any rich or complex movements or behaviors. Blender simulation nodes addresses this core issue of particles, which enables us to create a vast range of physically accurate complex simulations, meaning artists can use an infinite number of node combinations just like Houdini to create an incredible range of particle animations and behaviors, which is super cool. These particles can be then used in the likes of motion graphics or can be used as a base to produce, for example, smoke simulations or magic attacks. So as you can see, Houdini still maintains an advantage over Blender simulation nodes due to its extensive collection of nodes and expansive range of options, which is obvious. So as a result, simulation nodes are not yet as powerful, I mean in contrast with Houdini. However, even with its current state, simulation nodes still provide a considerable array of nodes. This allows for the creation of significantly more expressive results. This is the case compared to the previous system, which is limited to only basic settings like adjusting the rotation and velocity, unlike simulation nodes where you can build big node trees and the potential for more complex and remarkable simulations. If you like this clip and you want to see the full video, click here on your left. And if you want to check more topics, click here on this video to your right. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.